Welcome back to listeners to the Dish with Dina podcast. This is going to be a special standalone episode, audio only. So apologies to my YouTube viewers. This will be uploaded to YouTube, but you will only be able to listen to it or read the transcript and not see my face. Today we are celebrating 100 episodes. This is completely bananas to me. No food pun intended. Over the past 100 episodes, We have dove deep into so many wellness topics from food allergies to diabetes prevention to the rich tapestry of cultural foods across the globe. And today we are celebrating a special milestone of reaching 100 episodes. Think about things that you are doing in chunks of 100 whether that's months at a time, hours at a time, whatever the case may be, I can hardly believe that this has already come. I mean, 100 episodes is hard for me to wrap my head around, but when I started this podcast, so I'm currently recording this at the end of May in 2024, so that was about four years ago, right? This was, I call it a pandemic podcast because at the time, I had a few things going on in my life, one of which was my mom had some medical issues and I had moved in with her right at the start, like quite literally the week or the week after that pretty much the whole world shut down because of the pandemic. And because of that, I ended up losing about 83% of my income and my business and my jobs and my work because that's just how life was happening at that point. And so to be put in a situation where I was becoming a caregiver and not having a lot of my own things to do, I thought I really need to make some some use of my time. And I married together my experience with my Bachelor of Arts degree in communication, and I love doing media things, and marrying that also with my current career as a registered dietitian. And when it started, it was really more of an interview about people's earliest food experiences and things that influenced their ways of eating. Now we're (laughs) we're in season eight, can't even believe that. So we're in season eight, and if you've been a podcast listener, you know that I work in episodes of about 12 episodes per season. So usually my 13th episode, my baker's dozen, as it would be, is kind of like wrapping up the season, and then I take a couple of weeks off and I come back and do whole other seasons. So we're now in season eight, this is episode 100, and we really did come so far. So I think I mentioned in the transition from, oh gosh, was it season seven into season eight or season six into season seven, where I was not going to be really focusing on more of the personal stories, but allowing those still to come through in the interviews in which I was doing. And I was also doing some more of my solo episodes as well, because I was trying to have my topics of conversation mirror what was going on with the rest of my content creation in other platforms across my social media platforms. So I would have an editorial calendar and every month and every week there would be a specific topic that I would focus on. And then I would put out a blast to anyone who was a subject matter expert or anybody just related to or had that resonate with them, that particular topic. So we've had quite a wide variety of interviewees come on and I am just thrilled that it's made it this far. I think I'm going to still keep going. I mean, as it is right now, this is the hundredth episode, but we're not done yet with season eight. I still have a handful more episodes coming to be published soon, but this is it. So of course, I first want to take a moment to thank you, my listeners, and continue to thank you. Your support, your feedback, engagement really have been the driving force behind this. I get a lot of people DMing me or reaching out to me. And even in the world, in my academic world where I'm a teacher, my students will sometimes tell me that they listened to an episode and they thought it was really cool. Or somebody on LinkedIn will reach out and tell me that they found me online. And I really do appreciate that so much. I mean, those of us who are considered small creators, 
the more that people share the more support we get the more you submit hopefully good glowing reviews then the more the podcast can reach a larger audience and i really appreciate that because other- otherwise i would just be sitting in a room talking to myself this whole entire time so thank you from the bottom of my heart we've covered a lot of ground i've had a great great pleasure and honor interviewing so many incredible guests from fellow dietitians to chefs to researchers to advocates to people who are just typical general population who would say to me what do I have to talk about? I'm not important. And before you know it, at the end of our conversation, they've taught us all so many things. So we've really learned about the intricacies of managing some chronic conditions, the importance of disease prevention, the beautiful diversity of listening to people's stories and lived experiences. And each one of these guests has really brought their own unique perspective, expertise, and really enriched our understanding and hopefully sparked some new conversations because we have not been afraid to dive deep in some controversial slash uncomfortable but necessary topics. So I hope that you are enjoying those and growing from them as much as I am listening and learning myself. So as I reflect on this journey, there's a lot of standout moments that come to mind. And I mean, I will at the end of this season, I will go through and pinpoint everybody who's been in the season and I might tie in some of the past ones too. But Dr. Stephanie Shane, from the very beginning, she was my number one, (laughs) my number one uh, podcast episode kickoff interview and that was way way back in the day on oh my gosh almost exactly four years ago ish or so so may ish or june of 2020 and then like i said i've had some fellow dietitians like adam ross and mackenzie caldwell and sonia ahuja and kaylee clay and some people in the health and wellness world doing their own things like hal miller and Gogi Grewal. I mean, the list goes on and on. I really just feel so, so honored and grateful to have been able to interview these people and just get some insight and feedback and just live and learn, live and learn. I'm really excited about this. So thank you for letting me share my side of things. Thank you for letting me share my guests side of things as well. We still have some amazing episodes lined up, not just in the rest of this season episodes to come, but also I think I have planned out until like season 10 or 12. So we're not going anywhere. And I really just want to extend my gratitude to everybody. Thank you so much. Keep listening, keep sharing, tag me, reach out, send me an email, a DM, etc. And I really just I'm so I'm so proud of all of us that make this happen. And the journey has been incredibly rewarding. Thanks, everybody for listening and stay tuned for next week's episode. Thank you so much for joining me this week on the Dish with Dina podcast. I am Dina D'Alessandro, registered dietitian, nutritionist, founder, and chief executive life changer at Dish with Dina. And I'm also your host. If you like what you heard, I would be so grateful if you could subscribe to this podcast leave a review, and share this with others who you think might benefit from what we have to offer on these episodes. You can also join my mailing list at dishwithdina.com or email me at info at dishwithdina.com with questions, comments, feedback, and if you'd like to be a guest on a future episode because everybody eats and we all have a story to share. I hope you tune back in next week when we dish again.